Hello friends, today I am going to tell you about creating a simple scheduler where you can create a job or something which you want to execute at regular interval. So I will create a job regarding the job which will be executed at regular interval and I will create a scheduler to execute that job. So for that let's first go to file and create a job project. Go to file, new job project. I will name it as my scheduler and I will click on finish and I will set up the environment by importing the jars. So I will right click on this build path and configure build path and I will add the external jars. For adding external jars you can go to the website parts-scheduler.org and click on downloads. When you click on downloads, you can see the latest release of different schedulers are there and click on the scheduler which you want to download and you will get the zip file and extract the uh, different jars from that zip file and I have already done this so I will add the external jar here is the quads this is the file, go to the lift folder I am basically copying these all jars I have copied these jars, click on OK. My environment is set for creating a scheduler. I will go to the SASIP folder, I will create a package. Package name scheduler.summit.project. Click on finish. And in this schedule, in this package, I will create a class and I'll make the object of this class to be executed every time. So I'll create class my object. I don't want my main method to be here so I'm removing this and click on finish. And here what I will do I will create a job of this object so I will imp implement job interface. Like you can see implement job and I will have to import the methods and implemented methods so execute method is the default method which is to be executed whenever a scheduler is called so in this execute method I will simply print like hooray my scheduler is running and in the second line I will print and the time is the time now is create object update date ok these two lines will be printed so our job is done of creating the job. I created that this job to be printed every time and the time at, at which we want to create this job. So, for creating that job at regular interval, I will create a class with main method in it. I will say my main scheduler and I will click on finish. After doing this, uh, I will add the unimplemented, not un unimplemented, but I will throw some certain exceptions initially. Throw scheduler exception. This is the exception which, which should be thrown initially and to be checked initially. And I will, in this, I will create a job. The job is that job. Job detail. The job is the job which I created, that is my object. I will create j is equal to job builder job builder dot new job and in this new job I will provide the my class name that is my object dot class and I will 
safe to simply build this job. So my job is done. This is to be required to be build every time. So I will trigger the Chrome expression. For that, I will write certain expression like trigger trigger builder dot new trigger dot new trigger dot dot with identity that I'll use string only I'll use here prone expression prone trigger and you can search any chrome trigger now you can make your own trigger also or you can use this trigger builder to use the dual with depending upon your time so i'll make my own trigger and i'll not make my own trigger but i'll use the functions to schedule at like two seconds or three seconds so for that i will use with scheduler with schedule i'll make the schedule build the schedule simple schedule builder dot simple schedule dot with like with interval in seconds I will print like in two seconds and I will repeat that um, until my compact runs like forever so for repeat forever I will use and I will simply build this So what we have done, we have created a trigger and we have provided the identity of the trigger and provided the schedule and this is the schedule which I have built that is at an interval of 2 seconds and repeat forever and, and I simply build the trigger. So I am expanding this and after this I will simply create a scheduler, scheduler s is equal to standard scheduler factory dot get default scheduler this is the scheduler if you want and I will start the scheduler and after starting I will simply schedule my job schedule job that is this is job so job is my j and trigger is my t and this is now we are done with our part So this is the trigger which we have provided that at what time it should trigger and this is the job which we have made the job and so we are asking the scheduler to trigger this job at the given time that is 2 seconds. So what I will do I will simply expanding this I will simply run my main file run as java application and see it is printing at every 2 seconds like 25 then 26 then 28 then 30 so in this way we have created a scheduler to run at a certain regular interval thank you for watching